Did you know your home, business or commercial internet routers record and store all your browsing data? Even if you're using incognito mode, your browsing history can still be recorded by the routers you're connected to the internet with. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. That's why a VPN is such an important thing to have, because it can block third parties from viewing your browsing data and change your IP address. Excellent! Virtual Shield is the quickest and most user-friendly VPN in the world. They've got plans to cover yourself, your family and your business, all the way up to an unlimited device enterprise plan. Link in the description. No shit, Ben and Jerry's have released an anti-Trump flavoured ice cream. It's called Pecan Resist. <laughs> Get woke. Go broke. Their promo video description reads, We cannot ignore the Trump administration's attack on our values, our environment and our very humanity. We cannot stand silent while disenfranchised groups are silenced and ignored. We must act. We must resist. Introducing Pecan Resist, a new limited batch flavour that packs so much more than nuts and fudge under its lid. This flavour supports organisations that are working on the front line of the resistance, supporting equality, justice and respect for everyone. Featuring chocolate ice cream with white fudge chunks, dark fudge chunks, pecans, walnuts, nuts and fudge covered almonds, it's a nutty delight that's sending a powerful message. Together, we can resist. <laughs> You've got to be some type of retarded. They've got to be a few types of retarded. I mean, they make ice cream for fuck's sake. Who the fuck wants to look at some sour-faced activist cunt while digging into their favourite ice cream? Ice cream isn't meant to piss you off. Get woke. Go broke. The reaction to all this on Twitter was pretty scornful, with a mountain of comments from conservatives disavowing the company, and even a handful of lefties throwing some well-deserved shade. Their tweet calls for people to go to their website and sign up for the resistance or some shit. At the time of recording, they've had a whopping 2,287 signals signatures. But we'll get into the Twitter reaction and all that good stuff later. First, let's have a look at their announcement live stream. Yes, they did an announcement live stream. Business not only can, but business must speak up, business must be heard, and business must play a role in society as a force for driving a positive change and progressive change. We've been doing that for, for, for a long time, and that's why the team and I feel so lucky to be part of Ben & Jerry's. We are on the eve of uh, perhaps the most important midterm elections in a generation. And frankly, a lot of things in the United States are not going the direction that we want them to. Yeah, just quietly, after this, I don't think your sales are going to be going in the direction you want them to either. People don't want to be morally lectured by ice cream companies, you dumb fucking hippie. Um, and that's really the purpose of uh, what we're going to announce to you today in, in the campaign that we're doing. I think um, we're at an inflection point for America. I don't think I'm unique in feeling that or thinking that. Um, but I think that this is a time where our nation is obviously polarized. Yeah, so let's polarize it some more. You know, our political system seems to careen from self-inflicted crisis to crisis, uh, being uh, not any more able day to day to actually help meet the needs of American and actually realize the promise of America. And I think um, the team and I certainly feel that there's so many people in the current administration that are working to roll back decades of progress on so many issues that, that we hold dear, and we're just one company, uh, to be honest with you. We're just, we're just one group of, of people, but we feel compelled more uh, than ever to actually speak up. We're humbled and, and privileged to be partnering with four organizations that you're going to hear from in a, in a moment. Uh, these organizations are on the front lines of actually driving change. So we're a business, we get behind organizations, we're experts in ice cream, but we're, we like to think of ourselves in, as an aspiring social justice company. An aspiring social justice company. Get woke. Go broke. So now we're going to hear from some of Ben and Jerry's resistance campaign partners. Color of Change is the country's largest online civil rights organization with 1.3 million members nationwide. We motivate our members and hopefully their friends and family to envision a better world and to join campaigns to make that world possible. We seek to create systemic change across key domains of black community life, economic justice, media justice, criminal justice, and democratic freedom. 13 years ago, Color of Change started in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Facebook was barely one years old, Twitter didn't even exist, and we had the brilliant idea to make t-shirts with the tagline, Kanye was right. Mm -hmm. um, 
It was a different time. <laughs> Kanye West is what happens when Negroes don't read. So Black Lives Matter, basically. Who's next? Uh, my name is Dani Marrero he and I'm here representing Neta. <laughs> yeah. yes. We're an independent media platform based in the Rio Grande Valley along the Texas-Mexico border. And we create stories with a vision to inspire and move people to change the world by amplifying the voices of border residents. Immigration and border militarization are among some of the issues that we pay close attention to. Given that we live right on the border, we see every day the negative impacts of having our home region used to fuel dog whistle politics, racism, and political agendas that hurt the overwhelming majority of us to benefit white nationalism and white supremacy. But I'm here today with Ben and Jerry's and with the fellow organizations to continue our work of NETA and our mission to uplift the voices of border residents, those who are working tirelessly every day against these things, against white supremacy, and who remind me and the people at NETA what our values are and what our future is. And they're also a huge part in the fight against the construction of more racist border fences and walls, which could cause immense environmental, cultural, and socioeconomic disaster for our region. Okay, borders are racist, and if you enforce them, you are a white supremacist. Next. My name is Linda Sarsour. I'm one of the co-chairs of the Women's March. Ooh, remember the Women's March? Welcome to the revolution of... Vaginas. 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 Fuck you. New age of tyranny. Fuck you. Wake us the fuck up. Fuck you the revolution 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 starts here fuck you revolution fuck you are you ready fuck you i said are you ready fuck you yes fuck you i'm angry fuck you Fucking Linda Sarsour. Really, Ben and Jerry's? Linda, America will be freer if we bring on Sharia Sarsour. Linda, you know what? Jihad really ain't so bad, Sarsour. Linda, get on the news, let's gas all the... I couldn't think of a way to end that last one. Anyway, here's Linda Sarsour speaking at the Islamic Society of North America convention in 2016. Then I hope that we, when we stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. Our number one and top priority is to protect and defend our community. It is not to assimilate and to please any other people in authority. Our obligation is to our young people, is to our women, and make sure our, our women are protected in our community. And our top priority, even higher than all those pr priorities, is to please Allah and only Allah. Good one, Ben and Jerry's. I'm sure this ridiculous resist campaign is going to do wonders for your company. Get woke. Go broke. <laughs> Now, I promised we'd have a closer look at the Twitter reaction to this steaming pile of shit. Because, quite frankly, the reaction has been fucking hilarious. Let's wrap this up with some of my favourites. Now before I go, you might have noticed I don't use Twitter that much anymore. I mean, except for that shit ton of tweets I just showed you. Because fuck self-censorship. I mean, where's the fun in voicing your opinion on the internet if you've constantly got to be worried about getting banned for offending the wrong fat, whinging, non-binary, blue-haired NPC? But you can always catch me at minds.com slash bearing. Cheerio! Recession, session. Give me better ties, give me better ties.
Yeah,